Hey, what's up, y'all? Happy Thursday to you. Got one more day to go, man. Make it through the day. One more day to go. Got the weekend here. All right, account at $43,579, up $249. Buying power at $3,400.67. I put some buy orders in on some things, Wendy's, and just brought some charge point and stuff, but I'm about to go on through it. See what Bitcoin doing? The big dog on the porch are up, broken below the forty thousand mark again at thirty nine thousand seven hundred ninety one dollars, down hundred fifty five dollars for the day. See what the market doing, man. Seems like it's pulling, pulling on back. M M P W. See what's going on here. Do I three dollars a day? I load up on MMPW. Got a buy limit at three three oh three oh four. Um. All right, internet. Let's start that. Had a high today at three thirty nine. <clears throat> I do need to come on down in this. I might um buy some and sell some soon. I'm gonna see. Uh. I got some money sitting. Ain't no use of sitting. They say the dividend is safe, man. I looked at a video on yesterday. Say the dividend is safe even at the price that it's at. And they say it's, um, they actually got a market cap on Dank. They got $19 billion sitting. So, um, so they say it's safe. So I guess a lot of people going to ride it out and hold. I know that I am. Well, we see what's going to happen, man. I think it's going to be a turnaround in it. I think it's going to get back past that $7 range. Once they start collecting a little rent and get some good, good earnings, I think it's going to shoot up. I think it's the time you need to be accumulating. Buy your $3 a day, $5 a day, whatever you're able to afford. If, you, if, you, if your average cost is very high, I think this is the time you need to be buying and selling. For example, buying it at, you know, the low today was $3.23. Set a buy limit, 25 shares at that. When it triggers, sell the 25 shares at, excuse me, $3.30 or something. Just make you a couple shares, a couple dollars, a couple cent. Between two to like 15 cent if you want to be greedy. Go to the fifth, the, the fifth 15 cent range. I say don't go pack, don't go past that. I go between the two and like 10 cent, yeah, 15 cent being, being greedy. Buying and selling it, buying and selling it, buying and selling it. But if you go for the 15 cent range, you're gonna have to wait for the next day and hope it triggers that sale in the pre 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 in the pre market. But if you go to buy that 323 and sell it at 3 325, you can rinse in and repeat and get in and out doing that probably like three to five times a day. Like, like I say, your reason for doing this is lowering, lowering, lowering your average cost, not to make profit. You are actually making profit when you're lowering your average cost. So that's what I prefer y'all to do. That's how I got my average cost down. I need to get it down in this portfolio here because I'm at $4.80, but I was at like $8. So I came down some, but I'm going to um, look at it tonight and I'm going to probably go in. I'm going to get me about 50 shares and sell it. The lower my average cost. I want my average cost in this portfolio around about three dollars and seventy-five cent. <clears throat> All right, what's getting beat up? Okay, we see char charge point for y'all that want to get in. It's a good time to get in. Dollar and ninety cent. Lower one eighty-seven. Matter of fact, I got some money to mess up. I'm gonna show y'all by example. 1.90. I'm gonna do that. Matter of fact, I just brought ten dollars worth at dollar ninety. I wanted to go. I said if I play in this portfolio here, I wanted to go to see if it go to about 170. -ish. Then I go in and buy heavy. So I'm gonna stick to my rules on this one. But I did start another um. I did start another um 
Yep, I 17 shares of gold rovers. I need to come on down in this. I'm gonna put a buy order in and sell it at um sell it at um 3130. I mean the sell limit order, sell it at 3132-ish. Um what I was saying. Anyway, I got off subject. Um Nike got to get three dollars there. It is come on down. <clears throat> I got another portfolio with Nike. Well, I'm buying five dollars a day in that one in my cash ca cash app. When Nike get green in this one, I'ma sell it and I'ma keep the one in my cash app. Cause on this um portfolio here, I, this one in my weave, I own margin and I want it like that for a reason. Because long as say I owe fifty thousand dollars in margin on this one, on this account, until I pay the fifty thousand dollars back, I don't pay any taxes on on profits. Even though I'm making money trading, I'm um increasing my uh my cat my cash balance and my my overall portfolio balance. So I don't pay no taxes because I actually didn't make any profit because I'm in margin. <clears throat> but what I do on the side, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Carver State, Carver State Bank. But what I do on the side is I put the money up. I got the money. I would have been investing 500 a, a month or whatever. I got that up sitting. So when I'm ready to receive my dividends, all the dividends you see I get, the $800, $900 a month, I'm going to just pay back the margin. And boom, 30 days later, I got all the dividends coming in. So that's how I'm handling this one. Just growing my portfolio and all the money I would have been um put would have been putting in. I got that sitting and invested doing some other things. When it's time for me to really need my, my dividends, I mean I really don't have to cause my the dividends I get can actually pay back the margin by itself. I just, just stopped trading in this in this account period and all them nine hundred dollars go to the account count balance. And I am green in a lot of stuff, especially when this market get greenish. I could just sell stuff and pay the fifth grand back or whatever I owe back. Thirty seven, I think I owe like thirty eight thousand dollars or something. And then my weeb I owe like twenty something grand in margin, which I could pay that back. That ain't number twenty thousand dollars. And keep my account the same and just reinvest the dividends every month. So everybody got their own way of doing doing stuff. But if you're going to play around with, with margin, you better know what you are doing. <clears throat> I didn't mean to get $5 of that. I meant to get $3. But whatever. Starbucks, Google, I know I'm good in those. I VR and see what s at. at. 2110, I'm up. Cool, keep that. Um, invest the dividend. IVR, I know that's going to pull back some more. IAT and stuff, I'm good in that. Damn, TSLY getting beat up, boy. That's why I say I'm not loading up on this stock. I'm just dollar cost averaging in it. <clears throat> this is the reason why. But it's going to do its thing, and it's going to pay for itself. Cause one thing about it, do shoot out some good old dividends. $12.74. Yeah, $11.661. I'll wait for it. That's why I say I don't buy nothing until this round is 52 week, two week low. Now I mess with it. Mess with it then. And the reason I'm down so much in these because it's not like my Weber portfolio where I can buy and sell, buy and sell. And that's why I'm kind of down, down in it. Or just like I say, reinvest your dividends on, on only. See, OARK, I would have grabbed some, but as you can see with my dividends, I get on um, what I made last month in dividends. I made twelve dollars and forty cent. <clears throat> so you could just buy twelve dollars forty cent worth every, every month. Just reinvest the dividends, 
And if it ain't near the 52 week low pulling back, just save it. Let the dividends build up. And when it do reach it, that's when you go in and put it in. All right, Charles, all I'm doing today, doing that. Hold on, got to go by Wendy's. Show y'all Wendy's. I brought some Wendy's, man, today, too. Wendy's got down to 18.78. Seems like it might be coming up on the rise now. Wendy's at 18.80. I'm about to get $50, $50 of Wendy's because I'm about to sell this portfolio here and then it goes on this run i'm gonna sell it i'm gonna keep my cash out portfolio and i'm gonna start i'm starting a new portfolio right now in weeble i must swap this account out with my weeble one the reason i'm doing it is i can uh, trade unlimitedly in weeble i can't do that in when in uh with with wendy's and i get caught up with pattern day trading in my robin hood account i don't have that problem in weeble so if I get rid of this one, that'll save room for me to pattern day trade other stocks. Like Charge Point and um, MPW, uh, Western Union, those stocks I need to be coming down in. And Goro, which I'm about to start swing trading that too. And um, Carver State Bank. So y'all subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, watch recent videos, GGYM, go get your money.